Welcome to my Doki Doki universe, Brad. Doki, 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 Doki. Yep. Sound of my or heart. It's more of a Doki Doki, Doki Doki. I don't know. Well, maybe yeah, maybe you're right. Sure. This is a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and Vita game. Okay. Uh, it's all cross buyed up and all that other stuff. This is the PlayStation 4 version of the game. Uh, I played it a little bit when it came out back in December. And, uh... There's a party going on in that There's a party UFO. going in that spaceship. That's our robot. That's us. Okay. Uh, and that's... Uh, I dressed him up. A little, little lumberjackish. Lumberjack robot. Um, and the story of this game is the little guy in the ship there... Uh, found me. My human family had abandoned me on a tiny planet with a friendly balloon, and uh, he is uh, judging me, much like Q judges the human race, mm, okay. um, to determine if I am worthy to not be destroyed in favor of, uh, you know, more advanced robots that the company that makes these robots is making. Sure. And sometimes the characters talk in little animations. Uh, so we're planet side right now. You kind of fly around from planet to planet, kind of solving people's problems. And uh, this game, you see a little bit of Toe Jam and Earl in this yeah. game. Uh, this game was was Ugh. one of the developers of Toe Jam and Earl Speaking is, is of toe on jam, this. Um, were those giant toes? Uh, yeah, maybe. This this planet, we're kind of on this crappy junk planet here. I'm gonna get some some basically these are some stickers uh, that you can use. I can kind of pick stuff up and summon stuff and all sorts of business, but, you know. Something about cartoon fish skeletons is very unsettling to me. Yeah. Is that, that really gets the point across that this place is full of garbage. Yeah, this is this is a garbagey planet. Uh, so this game is one part kind of going to these planets and solving people's problems to prove your humanity. Okay. And prove that you, would, you shouldn't be destroyed. And then uh, one part uh, taking quizzes, like personality tests and stuff like that. Uh, so let's talk to this guy. We can kind of... Take a look here and see what his favorite greeting is. Oh, you, can, Eric. you can fill in those likes and dislikes also. Um, by, by talking to him? Just by talking to him, we're talking to other people who okay. will tell you about Eric. Uh, but right now, all we know is that he likes to be waved at, so we can use the right stick to uh, to, to wave, and, and and I'll get some, some XP, basically, for that, before we even talk to him. Let's just talk to him. We're on the planet Yuckers. This place does look pretty yuckers. Yeah, it's hella yuckers. No, yuckers, not muckers. Let's, let's go to the poop dimension. I uh, I don't know that I want to do that. I, I have to know. I have There's to know. There's a friendly cartoon poo. That's all he's got to say. Yeah, we can, Is that it? No, I mean, that, that's it from the first first little introduction. We can, we can talk to him again. We're going to pick this up and get the present that's behind it, though. Drop a house on him. I, uh, I, We've all been there. I guess we could... I guess we could help you out. Yuckers. We need to get some vomit for Eric. Love it or leave it. These colors don't run. We need we need to get some vomit for okay. Eric. Do you think he's picky about where his vomit comes from? Because we could probably set him right up. Uh, I don't know, maybe. So that that's our little present vision. We can scan to see where there are more presents. Um. Well, does he want vomit or poop? I'm not clear. Here. He wants vomit. He is clear about his vomit. Okay, so but he's uh, got poop on the brain. He does. Also. And and I can you know I can give him poo. I can if he's looking for poo I can make some poo happen. I can 23 skidoo him some poo. So let's find similar on the poo. Poop, vomit, kind of similar. Ooh, what's up with that hot dog up there? That's a hot dog. I mean, this guy is vomiting. Okay. Let's see if that works. He's stoked! We did it. All right. I, I'm not sure what it is we did, but okay. We got him some vomit and I, made him happy. 
we solved his problem. Checked <laughs> off. Just, got some vomit for Eric. You just conjured that guy who's yeah. able to vomit? Yeah, it's like a l little big planet or something. Like you kind of summon okay. people like stickers. <laughs> All right. Now he has a, a ready-made unlimited source of vomit. Yeah. And he's quite happy with the quality of the vomit. It's a nice healthy green. And he's going to give us a present. Oh, good. Another, More fish skeletons. Another one of those. So now we know okay. that Tobacoon likes aliens. All right. Thanks for that. Okay. What's up with that orifice coming out of the ground over there? Poopers really loves eating. Okay, Pe Poopers is a character. Okay. I mean... A guy named Poopers would need to eat quite frequently. You'd think. Keep, to keep that train rolling. Okay, so that, that's probably all he has to say. We can kind of walk around and pick stuff up and find the presents that are hidden behind things. Get some of our, our baseline easy presents here. What's up with this guy? He likes bowing. So we'll, we'll go up, down. Oh, wait, we didn't. We weren't facing him. Hello, robot. Eric is into his poo house. This is a weird game. I, what? What are you talking about? This makes perfect sense. But with the, the little rap beats that you hear kind of moving around and uh, the picking up and finding presents sort of stuff, like, I, I this seems like a you, you see some Toe Jam Mineral 2 sure. in this game. Get something stinky. All right. Uh. I think we can do that. I mean, the dude loves the poo house. He's going to be into us summoning poo. Yay! Now, are you losing those stickers when you spawn them? Uh, no, I keep the stickers, but there, there's a resource that you have to acquire okay. to be able to spawn them. That was that other that number that, yeah, that went down. Hey, you know what? Oh. <laughs> This game is powerfully strange. Yeah. Like, the, I, I barely know what I'm looking at here. I got a garbage can. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Gerald loves it disgusting. <laughs> Boulder doesn't like furry things. Some kind of... So some people will be into being picked up and mm. and even thrown on the ground. Uh, and you can kind of get that, that meter up there to get them to like you more. But once you've kind of gotten the presents from them, I don't, I don't really know what why you'd keep messing with them. How's the how how is each planet laid out? Does it just wrap around if yeah. you if you walk yeah, far enough? They, they wrap around. Um Poopers also into waving. Okay. Good. That's where we have to kiss poopers. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> this guy's a poop man. He's also got four arms. Yeah, well. He's the coolest poop around. I guess. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it'd make him cooler if he had a really gross pet. That hot dog was pretty gross. Get Poopers a stinky pet. Well, maybe not that gross. Hmm. Do you think he would be into the poo as a pet? I, pet I don't know. I don't know. That's a little strange. So, I mean, Do you think this hot dog would smell? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Um, Let's find similar. It's an animal. Maybe we'll... I mean, there's, there's no harm in trying, right? No, there isn't. So, I mean, we, we could just try the poo. Yeah, give it a whirl. Okay, not a pet. Right. We picked it up and destroyed it. <laughs> I just might not have a... What, yeah. what about that fish skeleton? Do you think that would count? 
Uh, I don't know if that rates as a pet, but it's worth a shot. So it's sort of a weird thing where like you can't necessarily pick that. Like I know we picked it up, but I don't know how to get it to show up. I mean, the baby is soiled here. Mm. If we look, so maybe this guy would think a baby could be a pet. See? Okay. Yeah. Poopers likes going for a ride. No, I have to. I don't want to leave garbage around on these planets. Got to throw that baby and destroy that baby. Let's take one more look here. Maybe we might just not have something that satisfies this situation right now. When I hit randomize, it just kind of gives me the same stuff again. Well, how about similar to the bat? All right. Yeah, well... How easy is it to get off this planet and go to another one? Easy. I can push up on the D-pad, my coffee cup spaceship shows up, Aha. and we're out of here. Wow. Can you assume that all the stuff you need for a given set of missions is on that planet, or do you have to kind of... I think you might have to go around to other planets and, and pick up stuff there and come back. Uh, let's go to our home planet. <laughs> the planet of Burr. Yeah. Oh man, let's go hang out in the cité. Where are okay? Up, I want to go up. Actually, I guess I can actually just fast travel from here, huh? Man. Like this track especially is real, just toe jam and roll. I hear it. I hear it. I feel it. Like if you laid the toe jam and roll level one baseline over that track it would still work so here's my planet um i can lay it out how i like here's my balloon friend here she's just great she likes kisses balloons yeah. so cool. can balloon not come with you no i've got to console balloon here a little bit Balloon is feeling understood. Uh, so some stuff here you can just kind of customize, so I can kind of change Whoa. the motif of the planet. Weird. Um, I can change my interstellar steed, <laughs> and you unlock more of these as you go. Wow. Fly the cheese. All right. Uh, we can uh, oh. change the look of Jeez. our robot. Oh. That's the default, obviously. And we can visit other players' planets. Oh, that's cool. Uh, which you can't, you can, it's not a ton to do when you do that, but. Wait, let's say L1 here. What are we? Oh, I. Yeah, nice. What does that character level do? Uh, it'll unlock uh, additional planets and stuff like that. Mm. So, uh, maybe a little, might not be the right order to show this stuff, but you take personality tests along the way. And uh, every so often you can return to the therapist here and uh, get a look at your personality based on the questions you've answered. So you see, I've, I've answered quite a lot of them. I've tried to answer them as truthfully as possible because I'm an extreme action lover. The ex extreme quiet type. Intuitive. Very cool. Very competitive. Eh. Adventure over safety. Pretty balanced. All right. Whoa, that's huh. okay. I mean, I would hope so. We're playing it right now. Uh.
And this kind of fills out as you answer more questions. Uh, you don't always get every single one of those uh, things until you've, you've answered quite a lot. Uh, so we can kind of decorate the planet, you know, as, as we go around picking up stuff. We can I think kind it's, of lay oh, some of it out here. I was going to say it's time for that hot dog, but there is no hot dog. There's the hot dog. That's a good hot dog. That's a good hot dog. Uh, and then when you visit other people's planets, it looks like this, and you you can view their personality test results when you go. I put this upside down snowman over here. Good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Jeez, has a mouth. I hadn't noticed that. Uh, so they're selling this in kind of a bundle that comes with uh, access to more of the more planets and stuff. They've got this stuff around the edge here that these are uh -huh. more personality tests that are locked. Um, and I'm hoping I haven't taken all the personality tests that I have access to because if it counts those DLC ones as part of the 220, there are more over here. That would be sort of a bummer. Because I think it would mean to, in order to. I mean, it's not. Is it gonna let me take him again? Okay, so let's kind of view your answers. We can kind of. Ooh, it's gonna just clap every time. They're pretty much all just multiple choice. Uh, yeah, they are, and and. They don't really explicitly tell you what you're doing. It's just, you know, whose job would you rather have? The key, not the lock. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think I do. Uh... Hmm. And then after you answer the, the questions, it tells you kind of how it interprets your answers. And then you can f go further into the details and it'll tell you why it thinks that way based on uh, based on how you answer. So this stuff's kind of interesting. Like it actually, you know, it's like any uh, good kind of nonsense personality test makes you feel okay about yourself. You're like, yeah, that's, that is how I see my... It's kind of yeah. cool. You can see their like weirdo logic, you know? Yeah. Like, their weird methodology right. on those questions. Uh, but yeah, the, the the bulk of the game part, like I, I thought the personality questions were the most interesting part, like going around and solving people's problems and not necessarily loving it. Um, it's okay, but. <laughs> no bright side to prejudice, Brad. Uh, okay. It's just bad. Yeah, no, that's, that's true. Look at all those presents. Maybe one of them will be a smelly pet. So is, is there an end game here? I imagine that you eventually solve all the problems of all the people on the planets and then get judged okay. and, and stuff and like hopefully, that. Hopefully I, I would, you will deem, hope, you'll be deemed to deserve your own existence. Sure. I imagine that at some point there is you maybe even get reunited with the little girl that left you behind. I, and, uh, and after all the years that have passed, is no longer a little girl. I guess That's so. my guess about how this goes. But oh, you know, there's also a mail section that ties into Facebook, huh. which is sort of weird. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of send the weird picture messages to people, and you also get letters from from game characters, like balloon here. It's a great sound effect. That little yeah, springy. Hi, it's balloon. I like balloon. Balloon seems cool. Always thinking about you, Balloon. Yeah, so you get letters like that from game characters. You can also send letters like that to your Facebook friends who are playing the game. 
which is silly. Yes. Yes, um, it is. And that's Doki Doki Universe. Brad? I don't know what it is that I've just witnessed. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting, weird little thing. Yeah. Uh, they're selling it in a bundle, I guess, with all the DLC stuff for like twenty-five bucks. Which yeah. Do you know what the base is? is the base like fifteen, I don't. probably. Uh, it probably is fifteen, if I had to guess. Um, and it's cross by. You can play it on Vita and mm, all yeah. that other stuff, and we get to the edge of the world here. It's interesting. Yeah. For sure. Uh, huh. So that is DLC. Yep. Starter pack. The way that calls that a starter pack makes me wonder, because they, they sent us a code for this that we could use to download it before it was out, and I just, so I don't know what the price of the of the main game is. It's weird that they would, this this would be considered part of a starter pack. So I would figure whatever I got the code for would be the starter pack. But I don't, there you go. We got some goals remaining. DLC, man. Don't try to fathom it. Yeah, don't, don't try, try to, to understand don't try to the logic. It it's just, uh, it's going to be crazy regardless, I guess. Uh, so. I, want see, I want to see what New Hawaii looks like real quick right. before we go. We'll very quickly go to New Hawaii. Where was it? Down it's here? It's right yeah. down there. Makes sense. Old Hawaii is just kind of disgusting. Mm, yeah. Once you get away from resorts and stuff. Well, nah, whatever. The resorts are weird, too. Not as much meth in the resorts. But yeah, true. It's hard to be happy when you don't follow your dreams, Brad. Okay. You know I, what dreams are, right? I, I, sort of. Yeah, sort of like that. I had a really weird dream last night, but I've already forgotten what it was. It's probably for the best. I just I just remember waking up feeling weird about whatever it was I had dreamed about. <laughs> What do we get? What's the last thing we get? Dude in a hammock. Guy in a hammock. Dude in a hammock. Oh, That's man. Doki Doki Universe. Let's go find hammocks. I would like. I could go I for could, a good hammock. I could spend some time in a hammock. Yeah, that'd be all right. All right. See ya. <laughs>